Hey guys, James Rick here with MLC CAD Systems. In this tech tip, we're going to discuss how to build your own custom forming sheet metal tool. And we have to start out with a holding uh, feature. And then we have to develop the shape and size of deformation we want to put into a piece of sheet metal. And this one can be blind. If we need to cut it out in some fashion, we can then develop a split line and use that to uh, cut when we build the forming tool. So we go to our sheet metal toolbar, we go to our forming tool icon, and we're going to use that holding feature for a stopping face. We're going to select that split line for faces to remove, and then I'm going to select a location for my insertion for this particular feature. In this case, the center of that arc on the left. So what I can do here is I can save this in the standard location where SOLIDWORKS keeps other forming tools that come with the program. This is going to be a custom one. We can also put it in any folder that we care to do so, local or on the network. We just have to denote it as a forming tools folder. But in this case, I'm using the standard location. I'm going to build this particular feature with the, uh, the items involved with that deformation, and then I'm going to save it as a particular forming tool. So we'll come in here to save as forming tool, and the default location is under your C drive program data, and this is hidden by default. SolidWorks, and then the version you're running, and then design library. I'm going to go to the Forming Tools folder, and I'm going to place this underneath my Embosses area. And I'm going to call it 1, 2, 3, 4. So that creates a nice Forming Tool for me. The thing you have to also remember is that check the minimum radius of curvature for the tool you've created, and your sheet metal has to be thinner than the minimum radius of curvature. I have a piece of sheet metal here that I'm going to drop this forming tool on just to test it since we just built it and we can go from there. So as you can see, it takes the shape that I generated along with the cutout and it makes a nice cut in my piece of sheet metal. I hope this video helps you create your own custom sheet metal forming tools. Thank you.